I think it's pretty safe to say that by far one of the most mysterious characters in the Star Wars franchise has got to be Emperor Palpatine, also known as Darth Sidious. This is Mike Zero, make sure to subscribe if you are new to the channel for future Star Wars content. Now one thing about Episode 9 is that we do know that this movie was by far the most difficult production for Disney and Lucasfilm, at least for the sequel trilogy movies, right? We do know that The Force Awakens went rather smoothly because they had a lot of time to work on it since 2012, and that they went through various stages in order to complete the movie, and with The Last Jedi they also had a lot of time to work on that film. And they were doing something completely different, however that, that, that actually did not sit well with a lot of fans around the world. But when it comes to The Rise of Skywalker, this is a movie that was very rushed, that was very much, you know, uh, put into a position where it had a lot of reshoots and rewrites. Uh, two phases of that, by the way. We had one phase of reshoots and rewrites in late 2018, and of course in mid-2019, during the months of August, September, and October. Now, when we examine the character of Palpatine, there's a lot of plot holes for this character, such as exactly, you know, who did he have children with, right? Exactly, how does Palpatine have a son, and how that son led over to the character of Rey, hence Rey being the granddaughter of Darth Sidious. There's a lot of chunks missing from the lore for the Palpatine family that's not going to be explained until sometime later this year in the new Star Wars universe. However, what's very intriguing about Episode 9 is that now that both Disney and Lucasfilm are finished with The Rise of Skywalker, they are moving on to their new Star Wars universe, also known as their new expanded universe, that will bring fans into a brand new mythology of Star Wars. Now, it's explained that Episode 9 went through many changes and adjustments during 2019 that led to a series of deleted scenes where one of which had to do with a sequence that took place on the world of Octu. Now, it's noted that this scene involved Mark Hamill, Frank Oz, Daisy Ridley, and even Ian McDermott, where at one point in time in Octu, 2, originally both Luke Skywalker and Yoda's Force Ghosts were going to appear in front of the Burned Down Tree Library before Rey, showing fans what the tree looks like after the events of The Last Jedi from being burned. The tree in this scene was said to be darkened and split into two from the lightning by Yoda, and that Yoda's Force Ghost would begin to give a visual lesson about Emperor Palpatine to Rey and explaining exactly how the Palpatine family started, and how that led to Rey herself. It's explained that originally Yoda was going to show visuals of the prequel trilogy era inside of her head, showing her the events of Order 66. However, for the audience, only the sounds from Order 66 as a scene were going to be heard, eventually leading to an actual visual Palpatine before Rey's eyes initiated by Yoda's Force Ghost. Now, it's explained that this scene was going to have prequel trilogy connections and a revelation about exactly how Palpatine's son came into the picture. However, later on, Kathleen Kennedy and J.J. Abrams wanted to delete this particular scene and keep it a complete mystery for their new Star Wars universe that begins this March. So, the thing about Episode 9 is you can see the potential that it really had. Imagine going back to the world of Octu and having Yoda giving Rey a legitimate lesson about the Palpatine family, a warning, if you will, about the Palpatines. And to me, I think that this would have been a very interesting scenario because, yes, Rey herself is a Palpatine. And what Luke tells Rey in the Rise of Skywalker in the final version of the movie, essentially what he's telling her is that, you know, it doesn't really matter who you are, it's a matter of how you handle yourself. Take Luke Skywalker, for example. He is the son of Darth Vader. It doesn't necessarily mean that he has to be all evil, right? So, if you look at it in that sense, we are getting the same exact scenario here with Yoda and Luke Skywalker in a combination, giving Rey a vital piece of information about exactly how the Palpatine family really started. We're talking about the family that led to the sequel trilogy era, right? Where we ha actually have flashbacks of, you know, uh, Rey's uh, mother and father in The Rise of Skywalker and how more of that was going to be explained in this particular scene, such as Rey's grandmother even. Would have been very interesting, but at the same exact time, you know, it may have been a little bit too much information for a lot of fans out there. It might have been a scene that may have really kind of just been drawn out too long. However, I think it would have been a great scene that would have served its purpose if they kept it nice and short and sweet, where Yoda just explains about the Palpatine family and then it wraps up. Now, of course, a lot of fans are still wondering how in the world 
you know, did, you know, Ray or Ray's mother slash father really come into the equation here? There's a lot of untold stories about the Palpatines and Ray's mother, which by the way is not related to Palpatine's family at all, but exactly how it all pretty much revolves around Star Wars, exactly how it all really comes into the equation here. That's all going to be explained in the brand new Star Wars universe that kicks off this March with the novelization and the art book of The Rise of Skywalker. That's going to be the first step there. And then we got books, novels, comics, video games, TV shows, and movies to come throughout this entire decade that's going to really reshape Star Wars. So with that being said, guys, drop a comment below. Let me know think about all of this in the comments. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time.